I'll tell you what we can do. We need to stop doing the bad stuff. Hi, I'm Dr. Freddie Otto, Senior Lecturer in Climate Science at Imperial College London, and my expertise is in weather attribution. Hi, I'm Nish Kumar, comedian, and my expertise is triggering your racist uncle, often just by opening my mouth. Human-caused climate change is fundamentally changing the fabric of the weather as we know it. It's leading to events which we've simply never seen before. Translation, weather used to be clouds. Now we've made it into a sort of Rottweiler on steroids that wants to chew everyone's head off. The continuing increase in global average temperature is already causing higher probabilities of extreme rainfall and flash flooding, as well as more intense storms, prolonged droughts, record-breaking heat waves and wildfires. Bad weather used to mean don't forget your umbrella. Now it means possible death. And now, The Weather Report, sponsored by Simmons Funeral Plans. This is not a problem just for our children or grandchildren. This is an immediate threat to all our lives. I don't know if you're familiar with the film The Terminator, but if someone came from the future to warn us of this threat, they'd have travelled from next Wednesday. We have entered an era of food and water insecurity. Heat waves are already causing crop failures across the world and worsening water shortages. During lockdown, we had shortages of bog roll that nearly caused a civil war in Waitrose. Wait until what we've run out of is food. The good news is that we have solutions. Renewables are now much cheaper than oil and gas, as well as less polluting. Switching over will save us trillions and improve the quality of our lives in the process. To save our world, we don't need to fight aliens to the death or go back in time and kill Hitler, though I would still like to do that. We basically need to plug into solar and wind, which are better anyway and cheaper. So what could possibly be the problem? For decades, fossil fuel companies have run misinformation campaigns and now they are lobbying governments for new oil and gas fields. There is still time to prevent worst outcomes if we stop burning fossil fuels. The voices who say we can't realistically replace fossil fuels are the same as those who said you'll never get rid of apartheid and let's be sensible ladies, you can't have the vote. Share this video and get involved with others. The overwhelming majority of people want change before it's too late. Huge change does happen, but only if we get our act together and act. What did you think of my translation? Well, I think they were a bit more blunt than I would usually dare to do, but I think they are actually quite helpful. Do you feel listened to as a scientist at the moment? Listen to maybe, but they don't hear what I'm saying. Is there a room in your house where you just go and you just sort of like, or like a cupboard or something where you can just lock the door and then just howl your frustrations out? No, but the dog gets very long walks. So. <laughs> What's the thing that keeps you hopeful? We have all the technology and all the knowledge. What we're struggling with is doing it. There are examples where things have really changed in a short amount of time. We've shifted the dial. That keeps me hopeful. We can do this.